Yeah, I didn't want to start off like this, but you know, things happen. Give me my baby. She rolled off my chest onto the floor, and I just wanted to make sure she was okay. So are you caring? Don't come at me. I know she shouldn't have been on my chest at the time, but things happen. Thank God for my prayer life. Thank God for Jesus. He's all right. I told you this the devil that was nothing but the devil because of the conversation that we had last night. And it was just confirmation that the enemy is trying to attack and he uses little things. Oh my gosh. See okay though, y'all. <laughs> Yes, I'm okay, y'all. I am okay. I'm okay. <laughs> Me, uh, <yeah>. Kylie. <laughs> Say I'm okay, Mama. I'm okay. Oh, Mama, strawberry. You so strong. <laughs> I love you, Mama. Mm. What are we about to eat? I'm thinking. I don't know if I, I don't know. I don't know if I want a burger. Uh, uh I had a burger the other day. I don't know if I want a ta taco, beer, chicken. What? What we gonna eat? I don't know what I got a taste for now. It's crazy because I've been asleep. I was out since the time you left for work. I told you. And we literally just woke up at four o'clock uh -huh. when that happened. That was after 12, 11, 10? What time did you leave? It I was, didn't leave the house until 2 o'clock. I was out way before that. I brought her to you after I actually remember one. now. I remember putting her on my chest and my eyes was, I couldn't keep my eyes open. Exactly. Because, like I said, baby, you cannot see to that baby sleep deprived. I understand what you're doing, but you got to get your rest so you can see to that baby. Your body will shut down on you. I think that will happen. Don't let that happen no more. But like I said, if you feel like you want to put a cat on your chest, that's fine. But don't be on that edge of the bed like you sleep. No, I want your butt at that wall and get as close as you can possibly can to that wall knowing if she do roll over get what she can't go nowhere but the one side i got confirmation that the, the enemy has a job to do but i said not today not today i said lord i will not let him win i said because i knew what he up to i said and just because we had that conversation like i said he is not gonna win this battle because it was just like this weight was lifted like it's all right this is a test this is a this is letting you know that you got to be on your p's and q's you got to sit out your eyes you got to cross your teeth you got a life of precious little one that's counting on you and you got to be there and that right there that shook me that woke me up that woke me up because i got a job to do because i know that the enemy is on his job too but long as i trust in my my lord and my savior jesus christ the devil cannot beat me he will not defeat me he will not defeat me to put on your whole armor of God and you just can't put it on and wear it for a few minutes baby you gotta put it on when you first get up because your adversary he is walking to and fro seeking whom he can devour but baby I'm gonna tell you like this this is one fight he can get ready for because like I said with the Lord on our side he will not win and that's why he getting busy because he already know who we living for and he has nothing better to do than try to mess with God's children because this is my family devil and you cannot have them because guess what I give them to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and who better to trust they lives within him. We at Wawa. 
time up right now. But like something like so small like that, you just don't understand how like the enemy worked though. Okay, it was an accident. I did fall asleep, but you gotta think the enemy would try to use anything you know to get you off of track with god just then he thought that he could take my child from me you know what i'm saying and with my prayer life because i'm faithful to my god he's not gonna let anything happen to us you know what i'm saying so the enemy can try anything but god will protect us and i say that all the time because i have faith in my father <sighs> this is real I mean, the little things that you see is attacks, you know what I'm saying? That wasn't little to me, though. Maybe this was supposed to happen, you know, because I want to share everything with y'all, you know what I'm saying? I want to share because you, this is what happened. This is real life. Everything in my life is not perfect. That's why on my morning routine, when y'all saw me praying up with my child, that is not for fake. I pray up for my child every morning, every night, because I know how the enemy is. He will try to take our kids. This is why I tell y'all, it's important. I put that in my video for a reason, because it's what I do. It's, it's the truth. It's what we all should be doing. We should all be praying for our kids. That's why my prayer life is so strong. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. I get up and I pray, because you never know what can happen. That's why I'm open and I'm transparent with y'all so y'all can see the real. I'm not going to fake it with y'all. I could I could have been ashamed of saying, look, this is what happened. With the room. No, I'm telling y'all, I was asleep. Like, I, I really was asleep. And I was so tired that I barely could remember. Did I even put her on my chest? I couldn't even remember. But it took me, it took me like a whole hour to remember that I had put her on my chest. You Come here. Mm -hmm. What good? Don't you do that? Uh huh. Come on. Come on, darling. Yeah. Come on here. I'm gonna sit in the back while you gonna do what you gotta do. How about I get me some Chinese food, John? sacrificing time for him because your day goes so much better and when problems come obstacles come it's easier for you to face them because you spent time with god you put him first you know what i'm saying you started your day with him and it's just easier for you to fight the enemy throughout the day i hope that makes sense you know because yesterday Yesterday really scared me. I could have lost my child yesterday, you know. But because I got up that morning, I get up every morning, and I stay faithful. I make sure my child is protected, you know. I was able to have peace during the situation. I'm not going to lie. It, it really has been on my mind because it keep replaying in my head and that's why I didn't record when I got back home because I needed to make sure she was okay I just needed to be close to her something like that may seem little to you but from a Christian's point of view you know that the enemy is out to attack you you know what I'm saying I hope this makes sense y'all know it makes sense I know y'all know it makes sense but girl Let's get this day started because I don't even know what I got to do today. I know I got a Shein package I want to open. Okay, y'all. So, let's go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Here we go. So, baby girl, let's open the package because it ain't nothing but a whole bunch of jewelry, press on nails, and I had ordered a waist trim. <laughs> trying to try them out because I didn't, I did not get the one for my mom. But oh my gosh, y'all see this stuff? Okay, so I got some press on. These, it's like a hundred of these in here. So these. Let's be into it. Okay, okay, I see that, I see that. Let me see how they feel, cause they said they were thick and hard, so I'm trying to... Oh my gosh, they not flimsy at all. They not flimsy at all. Like, they really hard. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, these are the little uh, bracelets for Kai. Look at this. So cute, right? So cute. Okay. They're definitely too big for her right now, but when she probably get like three months, she probably can fit them. <laughs> oh, this is a bracelet. She just faking. She faking. She faking. She faking. Okay, y'all. So I bought me some earrings. <laughs> Stop playing with me. Because y'all know I like my pearls and girl. I couldn't find them in Walmart. Every time I tried to order my Walmart line, I mean, on um, Walmart website, I could never find any. But she ain't never let your girl down. Like, stop playing. <laughs> what else we got? Oh, yeah. Because, girl, this one, this one's old. Sandra. I need these for my eyebrows and my face. Stop playing. Oh, yeah, this is for my wig. When I put my wig on, I'm definitely need that. Yeah, and this is a, the variety of those wig caps. Girl, stop playing. So it's eight wig caps in here. Period. Oh my gosh, this is the charm bracelet. Charm bracelet. Get into it. Stop playing. See, one thing about me, I be shopping on a budget because I can make, I can make anything look like I spent a band or more on it. Okay, stop playing. These are French tip nails. Stop playing. Stop playing. Oh, I've been waiting for these. I've been waiting for these. I've been waiting for these. <laughs> play with your mom. Don't play with me. Oh, yeah. This is the other little bracelet for Kai. This one, you can adjust it. She definitely can't fit this one. Either. Oh, this is for my cuticles when I get ready to do my nails because I don't have a cuticle pusher. Whatever they call it. What is this? What is this? The silver bracelet, like the gold one. This is a big bracelet. It's supposed to be like a little charm bracelet. This is big. Well, no, it's not. Or is, yes, it is. I'm gonna give this to my mom. This is too big. Like, girl, it's cute, but what were they thinking? I can't fix it. Oh my gosh, these nails, girl. And this is this waist trainer, and I'm gonna try it on right now. Girl, we finna see this waist trainer can fit. We finna see this waist trainer can fit. That stinks. <laughs> that stinks. Say hey. We finna dress her up, y'all. We finna dress Kat up. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look. So I had put those on a hanger, but I don't know which one we gonna put her in. Which one we gonna put you in, Kat? Which one do you want? Hmm? Hmm? Okay. <laughs> Girl, you finna get cute. We gonna do this one. And I really hope that you can be this. She finna cry. She really finna cry. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just speed the clip up. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. 
Okay, I done messed up, baby. This is not right. This is too big. Look at my baby. This is too big. I don't like it. I don't like it. Me don't like it. Let me find you another onesie. Okay. One thing I'm finna do is get on, I'm finna get on YouTube and see how to slick baby's hair. Because... She got some beautiful hair. Beautiful hair. But you see it? Sis, I can't be having my baby looking any kind of way. You know what I'm saying? And it's just... What are we gonna do? <laughs> we didn't ever get the waist trainer on, so hold on. Oh my gosh, I just dipped up my skin. Please, I already look snatched. I already look snatched. Stop playing, like. Child, I think I got this waist trainer for ten dollars. She's for me. <laughs> this is what I be talking about. This, this is <laughs> this is what I be talking about. Now watch this. I I know what's been hit me. I'm just gonna show y'all. some braids in my head you know he just he don't do right thinking about just making this a, a weekend vlog because i started filming video yesterday which is friday today is saturday so y'all i just got out of church well i didn't go to church but i watched michael todd so since i still got me a word today but listen it's crazy because y'all know the message that i just gave to y'all in my last video he was literally talking about the same thing, right? And I'm like, that is so crazy. That is so crazy. You can't tell me that message that I gave y'all last week or a couple of days ago was not from God. But basically, he was seeing the same thing that I was saying to y'all. Condemnation and conviction are like two different things. Like, God didn't come to condemn, but he came to save. Girl, talk to him. But y'all need to go watch this sermon by Michael Todd. He got a series called Cuffed, I think, yeah. But on week five, go watch it. Go watch it right now. But I know this wasn't like a crazy, exciting vlog. I know, I know, I know. But I just really wanted to talk to y'all. Like, what do y'all want me to do for Bible studies and stuff like that? Because me and my mom was thinking, like doing like table talks and just certain topics to talk about and stuff like that and sometimes do bible studies and like just comment some ideas that y'all want me to do because i see a few comments that people say do bible studies or teach a little bit about the bible on certain scriptures and stuff like that and girl i i'm willing to do all that if y'all just let me know just some ideas so i can be creative with it you know what i'm saying but yeah girl i just want to say if you come into this christian life or whatever you want to call it you give your life to god i feel like okay the meaning of being a christian is a follower of christ but i also feel like another meaning could be putting off the old and putting on the new you get what i'm saying because you become a better person so we in our book of Ephesians, right? It says the new man. Put off concerning your former conduct, the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you put on the new man which was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. 
when you become a Christian, when you come into this lifestyle, you're becoming a new creation, okay? So please, don't let nobody try to judge you or come at you for your past, you know what I'm saying? Because people like to bring up your past, but that's not you anymore. Especially when you find your identity in Christ. Child, can't nothing bring you down. Can't nobody bring you down because... I found my identity in Christ and it's like, I know who I am, okay? I know that I'm beautiful. I know that I'm loved. I know that I have a father who loves me. I know that everything that I'm putting my mind to is gonna come to pass. I know who I am and what the next person say about me, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's their business. That's what they think about me, but I know who I am. So find your identity in Christ. Don't worry about what you did last year what you did a week ago what you did a month ago you're putting off that old self and you're putting on a new you're becoming a new person because it's like the enemy will try to make you dwell on your past so you can't focus on your future or what god has planned for you that's why like that's how we're just talking about condemnation the enemy will try to make you feel like you're unqualified for certain things because of your past no that's why the holy spirit is within us when we feel like we've done something that we shouldn't have done it's conviction not condemnation god did not come to condemn he came to save so therefore your past do not define who you are period just don't let people try to downplay your growth because when you turn over to this new life you grow okay like i said maturity comes wisdom comes knowledge understanding baby the growth <laughs> don't let nobody try to make your growth feel like it's a bad thing because baby listen the person that i used to be i don't want to be that person anymore that was the lesser version of me <laughs> talk to him talk to him talk to him talk to him okay like but yeah i just wanted to say that yeah y'all comment comment some topics that you all will want me and my mom to talk about because we're gonna do table talks. Like y'all know how Jada do with the red table or I don't know, table talks, but yeah. Girl, we're gonna do that. <laughs> Help a sister out because look, we in this together and I love helping y'all and I'm gonna forever stay engaged with y'all. Cause at first I was like, I'm gonna post, but I ain't gonna read the comments. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna read the comments, but y'all are so sweet like y'all are so loving like y'all say i inspire y'all y'all motivate me y'all inspire me to keep going you know what i'm saying like girl so i'm gonna forever stay engaged with y'all because how else am i gonna help somebody if i don't like i'm not gonna act like i'm all dissing it because look <laughs> baby girl i'm not like i said we're a family and if you knew welcome to the family <laughs> Welcome to the family. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so excited. I always wanted to be a content creator. And I really talk, started taking it serious when I said, Okay, God, I want to bring people to you. You know, I know that you've called me to do something big. Like, I don't know. I just wanted to bring others to Christ. Always. Ever since I found Christ and what I was doing in school. Yeah, I knew God had a big plan for me. And... Uh, I said, okay, well, since I already have my YouTube, because I had stopped doing my YouTube a while back, and I said, you know what? I can make my YouTube platform a faith-based platform. So that's what I did, and it's we're growing. And I just want to say thank y'all for the 4,000 subs, and I love y'all so much. <laughs> I really do. Like, it is affected. It's like we're connecting through a screen like i never met y'all was like we connect on a whole different level like i do love y'all so don't think i'm not gonna be posting i'm trying to come up with a consistent schedule and trying to work around that little girl but i really want to try to upload on mondays and thursdays mondays and thursdays on mondays mondays and fridays and sometimes on sundays but i was thinking about going live on sundays honestly but just connect with y'all more on my live but yeah um but i'm gonna I'm come up with something i gotta get it right i gotta get it right 
the girl trying to stay consistent with posting every week like i'm really trying to get videos up every week you know what i'm saying my goal is to get at least two videos up a week and i'm trying to do mondays and thursdays but yes girl i really love y'all and i really hope y'all continue to stay on this track with god and girl we just continue to grow you know we're gonna continue to grow but make sure y'all like comment and subscribe turn the notification bell on so every time your girl posts a video you will get notified and with that being said your girl is out